do you have dead pixels? I did, and I got tired of looking at them. These were the dead pixels on my camera, not my screen, my camera. So every picture I took had annoying little dots. And if you've got that, I've written a program to help solve that problem. This is the program. It's called Dead Pixel Healer, and you can find it at my website, which I will link in the description. I want to jump right into this and show you how you fix dead pixels. You're going to need two things. First, you're going to need to create a mask, which you're going to do with a mask source or a reference photo. And second, you're going to need the photo that you actually want to fix. We have to create the mask in order for the program to figure out how to heal your photo. So to get a reference photo, what you want to do is you want to get a picture of a very consistent color with very even lighting and that will help show the program where all the dead pixels are. The simplest way to do this, go outside and take a picture of the sky around the middle of the day, maybe not when the sun is directly overhead, but middle of the day because you don't want too early, you don't want too late, and you take a picture of the sky with the sun to your back. That will give you a consistent color as long as it's a clear day. Clouds in the sky, those aren't going to work. You need a clear day. You take that picture and you're going to import it into this program. That's what the mask source is that we have in the program. So I'm going to go ahead and click on mask, load mask source and then I'm going to go and find my actual source photo and that's going to be this one right here which I've already done. I'm going to click and bingo it pops up and if you look you can see the dead pixels right here and there's another one actually there's it's more than one pixel if it was just one little pixel on this high resolution image it's a six megapixel camera if it was just one little dot it would be really hard to see but the program will be able to find it as long as you have a consistent color around here notice how this is almost completely the same color depending on how you, how you're seeing this on YouTube it may be a little bit lighter down at the bottom and to the right but the program can handle a little bit of variation so don't worry about that just a picture of, of the sky on a clear day with the sun to your back now I've got that loaded in the next thing I'm gonna do is click on create mask and what that's gonna do you're gonna see the progress bar going across here and there you see it disappeared and it started over it's actually got five steps it has to go through and you can see it says step three of five here so step four and in short order we're going to have a mask there it is this is our mask this is what we need to heal the photo uh, you'll notice that these pixels that it found are actually a bit bigger and there's a reason for that it's what I call the halo effect it has nothing to do with the video game it has to do with uh, JPEG compression and the fact that my camera when I take a picture can only store in JPEG and most cameras in fact do that they store in JPEG if you have a higher-end camera that can shoot in RAW it's this program will still work for you it's just gonna make the dead pixels a little bit larger but we kind of need to have that in order to be able to truly hide the fact that we're repairing these areas. Now, at this point, it would probably be smart to go ahead and say, click on the Save Mask button, and that'll allow you to save it. I've already saved a couple of them. What I recommend is when you name your image, your mask image, you want to put the date that you saved it, or, or the, actually the date that you shot the reference photo, and if you have multiple cameras that have this problem, probably put the the, uh, the model of your camera in there. So I just simply have here 2017-08-22. This is an old mask that I saved. It is now uh, September 4th as I record this, so I would put that in instead. Uh, that is actually the uh, photo that I used, that I just used, to go oh yeah the photo that I used 
was actually, it doesn't show up here because actually when you go to save your mask, it's going to save it as a PNG file. The photo I used was a JPEG file. That's why it's not showing up here. Uh, that photo goes back to that date, and, but what I'm also going to use for the rest of this program is all photos taken around that time. So you would simply type in your file name here and click save and it'll save it. I'm going to go ahead and cancel at this point because we can go ahead and use the mask that we just created. Now if at a later date you want to reopen the program and repair more photos, maybe you have a whole bunch of photos that you want to repair or heal and you just don't have the time to do them all at once, save the mask and you'll be able to click on the load mask button at that point which will then pop up the same dialog where you can select the mask that you want to use. Uh, in this case I could click on this but I just created a mask so why spend the extra effort? So I'm going to cancel out of that. Now we get to the real fun part. I'm going to click on load photo and I've already got a photo queued up here. I'm going to click on before and that loads up a photo that I shot while I was on vacation in Lake Tahoe and this is the uh, Truckee Marsh, if you ever are curious. And you can see this obvious dead pixels right here. And that really is annoying. Now, there was another one on the side, if you remember, but that's actually covered up by the tree. So we're going to go ahead, and in order to fix this, we're going to simply click on the Heal Photo button. And you'll see the progress bar start up again over in the lower left corner. And you'll see it says Status Healing Photo. And bingo, it's gone. Now, this is a process that uses some estimation, some randomness. So sometimes when you go to heal your photo, it won't look perfect. You'll, you'll be able to see kind of a shadow of the fact that it was healed. If you're not satisfied with the result, you can simply click Heal Photo again and it'll do the process again, but it's a little bit random. Not totally random, but a little bit random. And that randomness may actually make it look better. So as many times as you need to click Heal Photo until you're satisfied, or you just want to give up. If you want to give up, I ask you, go to my website, bitnotes.com, go to the software section, go find the Dead Pixel Healer, and then go to the contact form, and let me know what went wrong because the more I know about how my program is not performing the better chance I have to go fix the problem. This is currently in beta release which means that I'm still testing the program. It's fully functional, it's working perfectly for me but I'm sure there are cases out there where it wouldn't work perfectly. So let me know if you have a problem and I'll see what I can do to try and fix it. Now that we've got our photo healed, all we got to do is click on Save Healed Photo. And in this particular case, I already had saved it as after. So I had before and after. And that's pretty much it. That's the program. Now let me cancel out of here and I'll just show you one more thing. Uh, if at any point while you're working with this program, let's say you're looking at the healed photo here and you're going, wait a minute, where were those dead pixels? I can't find them. If you can't find them, looking at the photo, then it's probably a convincing enough healing that nobody else will know that you had dead pixels. Only you, because you, you look at them all the time. But if you want, you can click on any one of these thumbnails on the right, and it'll bring up that particular image. So I click here, boom, there's my dead pixels again. Click on the healed photo, they go away. If I want, I can click on the mask, and I can see the mask that it used to actually heal the photo. I want to go all the way back to the reference photo, to the mask source. And you can see these are smaller here than they are on the mask. But it's necessary to do that in order to fix the majority of problems. That's pretty much it, folks. That is the Dead Pixel Healer program. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.